here's something we don't get very often. A non-controversial kids movie that has somehow fractured film critics so badly that I, as a fellow moviegoer, had no idea what to expect. Is it truly so bad it should have been left unseen? Or a family film in all the best ways? I love this movie, and I don't understand how people are having such a negative reaction to something so wholesome. Perhaps I am still just a normal person, with an untarnished soul. Maybe it's because I am not a movie critic. I just pretend to be. Are any of them scary? Worse. Desperate. It follows the story of a young girl who is reintroduced to the world of imaginary friends. A world that is made up of countless beings unique in design and character, who are forced to live in the shadows because the children they were made to support have moved on without them. It is a touching take full of moments that made me self-reflect. I personally never had an imaginary friend, but even I had a lump in my throat with some of the scenes in this film. Oh. <laughs> You're sucking the oxygen out of the room! Honestly, Doc, this is how it's gonna be. I'm just gonna wheel myself back and plug in. The cast in this film is fantastic. Granted, the live-action cast is quite limited, but they do a great job interacting with the imaginary friends. Ryan Reynolds is less obnoxious than usual in this film, hearkening back to some of his earlier work that made him so likable in the first place. The true MVP, however, is Kaylee Fleming, which is good because she is the main protagonist of the film, and we experience all the events that transpire through her perspective. Her performance was actually extremely effective in showcasing her emotional range, and she had a monologue towards the ending of the film that got me a little choked up. Also, apparently Amy Schumer is in this movie, which has got to be her best role to date because I didn't even notice she was there. All right, let's find these ifs and kids. Keith! What kind of a kid creates an invisible if? On a technical level, the film is wonderful to look at. The visual storytelling is very effective, and the joyful score complemented the on-screen shenanigans very nicely. The visual effects are interesting to say the least. Sometimes they are photoreal, other times they are intentionally more cartoonish. It's like real people are engaging with Pixar characters, and I really dug it. If is a wonderful time at the movies, and John Krasinski should be proud of his increasingly stupendous filmography. It is a colorful and deeply emotional film that will appeal to all ages. And not only will be regarded as a modern family favorite, but a movie I would have had a ball with as a kid, and one I deeply appreciate as an adult. You are the chosen one. No, no. Let's not give her a complex. Good luck, short sack. It's all up to you. No pressure. Cook and Hope this works. Thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. Here at Get to the Conclusion Reviews, my goal is to provide a quick but thorough critique of a film's narrative, performative, and technical aspects, giving you the best information in the most digestible format. If that is something that interests you, a like and a subscription would be greatly appreciated. But what about you? What are your thoughts on the movie? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to read what you have to say.